Hey guys, you're Rocker Friends, and welcome to another Emma P episode review. I can't sabotage that until I upgrade the disruptor. Uh, this is the review for episodes 10 and 11. So, 10 and 11. Ooh. What do I say about these episodes? Let's let's talk about hold, let's hold, hold ten first. And this was a big episode. This was the episode where we finally got more Celestia and, and Luna than you know bits and bits here and there. Or absolutely nothing. In the case of Celestia yeah, for years at a time. I will say one thing. And if you saw my review of a previous episode in this season, you know where I'm going. Why? Why? Why was Starlight forced into this episode? I'm sorry. You could have done this episode without her. You were not going to convince me you couldn't. Oh. And to people saying, oh, the, the episode would have been different if, you know, the human mark switch hadn't happened. Why is... Why is... Why, why did they... Like, don't get me wrong. Hmm. This was a very good episode. But, I mean... You could have done a different story. You don't need to do a story. You were. Sentry gun deployed. Area's hot. Wait. Could have done something else. Don't worry about me, guys. I'll be fine on my own. We work. Good. I'll be fine. The only reason that the idea was that. Starlight would be, you know, solving the problem. She switched to Q Mark. It's because she's like the only one who can do it. At least she's been, she's the only one who's been shown that she can do it. I, I just feel like this episode could have been done in a different way with a di like a different plot but just focus on Celestia and Luna you know like, done something else it, it feels so mm, stupid that you have to force there's, there's Starlet into a role into a into an episode she has no business in like is it too much to ask that the episode be focused on them and them alone Luna and Celestia no pony else no one else no starlight people a friend of mine asked me why do I hate Starlight after my uh, previous review about her being in the uh, Pinkie Pie and, and Mod episode. I don't hate Starlight. I have no reason to hate Starlight. The, like the reason I he was pissed about her being in that episode is that I feel she was forced into it. it, 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 it you could easily have done that episode without Starlight, and you could have easily done this episode without Starlight. You could have done some, something else. The real, the only reason Starlight was in this episode is because it was his a, a situation where, where you switched the cue marks of Luna Celestia. That was the only reason. Hmm, and don't get me wrong, I, I wouldn't want anybody in this role. I wouldn't care if it was Twilight, I wouldn't care if it was some other member of the main six. Have it be 
just Luna and Celestia. There's no reason for anybody else to be in this episode. Ooh. Ooh. Absolutely none. Now that they're out of the way, and the fact I that you use that console to disable the airship's defenses. Did put Starlight Incense. So it's just making me concern more that yes, indeed, you are trying to get her her appearances up to where where she would be semi on par with the other members of the main six. Dag's fingerprints. Without a clean set of his prints, I'm locked out. Seriously, this is Twilight Season 1 all over again. She's being put into episodes she has no business being in. Reconstruct the full set of prints. Look. Was this an episode bad because Starlight was there? No. Okay? No. Do I hate this episode because Starlight was there? No, but... I would have been. I, I, I think it would have been done better if she hadn't been forced in. She was forced in. You can't convince me otherwise. Simple. What was that, ladies and gentlemen? He touched the floor after he was thrown down the stairs. I should search for more prints. The question is will we ever get a proper Celestian Luna episode or is this it is this it I fear that this might be it I really think this is gonna be it this is gonna be all we get he touched that railing when he steadied himself I should find more prints to reconstruct a full set the fact that Stag left a handprint near the exit to the room. Starlight was in this episode. I know where really? Prints. Now I just have to scan those locations. It, it, it did bother me. I'm not going to lie. It did bother me, but I... What's the deal here? Because I feel she didn't need to be there. I've got an index fingerprint here. But... Three locations left to scan. You know what? Enough about that. Let's talk about the episode as a whole. And the episode as a whole was a very good one. Middle fingerprint. Two spots uh, scan. I really love completed reconstruction of Stag's thumbprint. What they did in this episode and And this is just showing you what he, what they can do if they he, he put their mind to it. If they actually... He put their mind to putting some character development behind Celestia and Luna. Like, Luna has a bit of character development from her, her appearances. We don't know... We know next to nothing about Celestia. That's the whole reason people want a Celestia ever. So, because people want... The fans want to know more about her. They want to... Know her history, her past. His, they want. I can't we want to. to the on the her to. Ship, but I can't We want the on this to ship. get to know Celestia on the level we've gotten to know the main six. <laughs> you don't the need to. Scarecrow's you know, next. We're not asking for one every season. One every few seasons. Hell, the fact that you gave us. One is a freaking miracle. I said it, it for uh, Celestial Vice, which was technically the premiere for part one, even though they were not a two part by any stretch of the imagination. I said this before. I said that was the closest thing we had. Sir? At that time, to a Celestia episode. What have you found? And now this, I guess you could count. Well, this is a Celestia episode, but it's also a Luna episode, which is fine. I mean, 
Focus on young men. I don't think anyone's gonna complain that Luna was there. Or, or, and I might be alone in. in, in my, uh, hatred of the fact that. that Starlight was there. But. this episode was a good. It, like, a good. A good foundation. Now you need to build upon that. Don't wait another seven seasons before we get another. Or building upon what you did here. What the hell did you do to me? Helped you, idiot. It would be so stupid to wait his combat suits when you're. Fans want. I won't be able to hit them when they're in that state. I mean, am I? He, he wrong or would it not make perfect sense for the? To have the. The episodes that your her fan base want. It's just it, it's it seems like it would be a good idea. So what did I make of this episode truly? Apologies in terms of a way. But I can ready another upgrade for the car if you'd like to take your pick. I think you guys know I normally score a 10, and I am for this. And I am going with... An upgrade. I'm sure your weapons pack quite enough punch as it is. An 8. But a little extra. Never. This was a very good episode. Would it have gotten better if Starlight wasn't there? Probably. But, you know. I'm not going to dwell on that too much. Episode 10 gets an 8 out of 10. And I think that's a very good rating for what this episode was. And this episode was a good... Like I said, it was a good foundation. Hmm. Now... It will mean absolutely nothing if you don't build upon it. It's all well and good having the foundation. You need to build upon it. You need to put more her, her, to screw me more her, to the world. Show us more. And we will appreciate that. So... Gentlemen, an announcement. Our one-time friend, Mr. Stagg, neglected to keep the cloud burst charged and ready for operation. We will need to do the job ourselves. That's my opinion on episode 10. Now on to episode 11. And I need more men to defend them. Episode 11. Was um it was an interesting one to say the very least. Um had that. It was interesting. But Did they accomplish what set out to do? Yeah.
So, episode 11 saw the return of the axe. Now, some people liked the axe the first time they showed up. And some people didn't. What you thought of the axe will really depend, will really dictate what you think of this episode. Personally, initially, I did not like the axe. I, I, I disliked... I, 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 they were just, like, complete... Ah. It seemed like they were kind of like... They're like assholes, you know? They were very stubborn. They were very set in their way about oh, practically everything. And and it's this this really is an interesting idea for them. Now, of course, this episode shows Pinky going to the uh, X um, village town. Uh, I'm not sure what what, what is it. A village? Is it a town? I mean, they have a prince, but that doesn't really like. That would suggest that they're a kingdom. With a with a crest with a uh, with Equestria. So um, let's let's call it the Yak Kingdom, for lack of a better term, I guess. So yeah, the Yak's return in this episode. I ooh I. I don't really have any comment on that. Like, were people really looking forward to the act of Return of the Axe? They, they, you know, they seem like characters that, you know, if, if they never showed up again, no one would say, hey, I really miss those yaks. Like, I, I just get the feeling that people just, I think most people maybe didn't like them. When yeah. Dr. Crane approached me, I it's one of those ones. Um, overall, um, initially I I I didn't like them. I I really still don't. I think you know the fact that. They're a bit temperamental, they you don't know, sit, like I said, they're very stubborn, like, you've seen some of the main six do stupid stuff, but, you know, none of, they've never, none of them have ever been this bad, like, Applejack's had a few moments, and Rainbow's had a moment or two, Twilight had less than zero, you know, they pretty much all had an episode or a moment where they've, like, been stubborn or done something completely fucking stupid. These, these guys, it just seemed like it was their nature for some reason, you know? I, I, got, I, I got vibes that, mm, these guys don't. I, I just don't understand. Like, what were they trying to do with the axe? Maybe dangerous for you and your loved ones. I, I I don't understand. Like, were they trying to tell kids, "Hey, kids, I'm telling you that it's uh you can be as nice as possible to p 
people, but they might still lose their complete eat shit it because they fucking crazy. I mean, like, what, what was what was the lesson in that episode? Like, but if that's the case, sir, why is Scarecrow attacking Stag? I, I can't even remember that episode. I, I barely remember it. In this episode, I'll probably forget as well. Computer network. Like anything related to the cloudburst. I need to know what it is. As you wish, sir. Pinky was, you know, she was respectful, but no, but she was also right. And when the prince comes to her right at the end and says that she was right and he was wrong, just. <laughs> this was a waste of an episode, really. You know, this could have been done off camera and you could have mentioned it. Nope. Had to be done, apparently. Um. Question? Why? The, was, was it really necessary? Like, like I said, were people demanding the return of the X? Like. Whoop. Well, Will people remember this episode? People will probably be like... You'll be watching episode 12 and you'll be like... Did I watch episode 11? Did I? It's just like that. It's... It's completely forgettable. Um... I would... I wish I could give this episode a Batman won't be able to stop us. But you can stop yourself from betraying Scarecrow for a little more. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, you're not sorry yet. But when Scarecrow just It's just I think you just might be. Oh god, no. I've seen what that stuff It's very forgettable. And um, ratings wise, I should leave him. I'm gonna be completely honest. It, it's hard to give this anything other than a really poor rating. You know, I say, just it's one of those episodes where you're just like. How many do we need? Episodes where like nothing happens are not like new, so our work is nearly done. My calibrations are almost complete, and the clouds are but charged. Until then, keep supplying me with energy cells. I feel like could have done something in this episode to make it like worthwhile episode just felt like it could have been not done I will say um hard to rate an episode that you just like know you're gonna forget it eventually like are you afraid of what I will do in the car? it's not like every don't be episode is super memorable and like fear what will happen it would be insulting to forget that every episode you're probably gonna end up like unless your memory is super brilliant like you're gonna forget the majority of the episodes Here the energy cells the series and um I think this episode is uh one of them so, I, I, I can't, 
can't give this episode a rating that would suggest that people are gonna enjoy it. I mean, like I said, it'll really, it'll depend on what you thought of the axe the first time around. And even then, it's probably gonna be an episode that you'll uh, forget pretty easily. I'll say this, it, it, I really wish I could give it an, an okay rating or a semi-decent rating. All I can do is say it's it's kind of forgettable, and that and that, that that's that's a disappointment. Um, I'm gonna give this episode a 1 out of 10. It's very forgettable. Like, the episode as a whole is okay, but it's it's forgettable. Like, I'll, I'll, I, I, I won't remember this episode. A lot of people won't. A lot of people won't care. A lot of people will just... Will... Intentionally forget this episode happened. Because they just like... What was the point of this episode? So... That's episode 10 and 11 reviewed. 10 was... Okay. Well, 10 was... 10 was... 10 was better than okay. Hey, 10 was good. 10 was very good, and 11 is completely forgettable. Thanks for watching. I'm Joy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day.